everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this crochet tutorial I will be showing you how to make this absolutely stunningly gorgeous iris twist stitch. So it is the regular iris stitch as you can see but then we've got these beautiful post stitches which give it just this amazing texture as well. So it's a really beautiful simple one for baby blankets, really big blankets that would also be perfect for a scarf as well, obviously keeping it quite narrow or you could even work it really wide with a really lightweight yarn to make the most beautiful summer shawl. So it's a really versatile stitch, it's incredibly simple as well once you get going it is a two row repeat and you end up with this gorgeous gorgeous stitch at the end of it. So that is the front of the work and then I will just show you the back. I always think it's handy to see the back just so that you can see, but it's equally as gorgeous on the back as well. So at this point, I would just like to remind you to please subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon and click to receive all notifications so that you never miss a crochet tutorial when I upload it. So for the tutorial, I'm going to be using the beautiful King Cole Beaches DK and this is the shade Beaches and Cream and I'm going to be using the recommended four millimeter hook size. If you want um, a particularly soft drape, then I'd suggest just going up a half hook size. Okay, so you want to start your foundation chain and you want to be doing this in a multiple of six. So yarn over, pull through, it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if you just chain the width that you need your project to be and just make sure it's a multiple of six. Okay so once you've completed your multiple of six you just want to add an additional two chains to the end so no matter what width you've done add two chains to the end of it. We're then going to work back along and you want to start in the fifth chain from the hook so you've got one, two, three, four and five and into that fifth chain you're going to do an iris stitch so an iris stitch is two trebles, chain one, two trebles. So do remember I'm using UK terminology here, so in the US these would be two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So into that fifth chain, you'll yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up. Do you have three loops on your hook? Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then another one back into that same chain. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one, and then again, back into that very same chain, you'll put two more trebles. And that will complete your first iris stitch. Okay, so now you want to skip two chains and into the third chain, you will put a treble on its own. And then again, you'll skip two chains and do an iris stitch into the third. So two trebles, chain one, and two trebles back into that same chain. And then again, skip two, and a treble on its own into that third chain. And you'll just repeat that process all the way along. So skip two, iris stitch, skip two, treble on its own. And I will meet you as you get towards the other end of your foundation chain. Okay, so I've just completed my final iris stitch and I've got three chains left. I'm going to skip two and then my treble on its own into that very last chain. So that is how you should look at this point. We're going to turn our work. I'm going to insert my hook straight into that very first stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. And I'm going to go behind the vertical part, the vertical post of that stitch, yarn over and pull up again, yarn over, pull through both. And that gives us a treble height stitch but without the gapping that you would get from doing a chain three. We're then going to jump straight to the chain one space. So in the middle of your iris stitches you'll have these chain one spaces. And into that chain one space, you're going to put a new iris stitch. So into the chain one, so skip those stitches, you'll do your iris stitch. So you'll do your new two trebles, chain one, two trebles. Okay, 
Okay, so now is when we're going to start building that lovely texture. And so around this single treble on its own, you're going to put a front post treble crochet. So remember that's front post double in US terms. So yarn over, go around the back of the stitch, yarn over and pull up, and then you'll just complete your treble as normal. And that pulls that treble out to the front. And then again, skip to your chain one space in the middle of your iris stitch and do a new iris stitch. So two trebles, chain one, two trebles. Okay, and then again, you're going to skip to your single treble on its own and you'll do a front post treble. So yarn over, go around the back of that treble stitch, yarn over and pull up yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you'll repeat that again all the way along. So iris stitch in your chain one space and then front post treble all the way along your piece. Okay, you want to skip the final two trebles. I've done my last iris stitch here. I'm going to skip these final two trebles and do a treble on its own into the chain which was part of the skip chains at the beginning of our foundation row. So skip the top of the two trebles and work a treble into that chain just after it. So skip those two and treble into that next chain. That is how we're looking now. You should just be starting to see that little bit of texture. So again, we're going to turn and then straight away again into that very first stitch, you'll insert your hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both, go behind the vertical post of that stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both again. That's just your treble height stitch. We're then going to skip straight across to our chain one space to do our new iris stitch. So do your first iris stitch straight into that chain one space. So this now is row one of your pattern repeat. Okay now, because we want all of our ridges running up the same side of the blanket, we don't want to be doing front post trebles around these single trebles now. On this row you want to be doing a back post treble. So this time you're going to yarn over, going to go around the back of your work and then push around the front and then go in front of that treble and back out the other side. So you can see we've pushed that treble out to the back now. And then again, yarn over and pull up, and then you'll just complete your treble as normal. Skip ahead to your next chain one space and do your iris stitch. And then I'll just show you this back post treble one more time. So yarn over, go around the back of your work, come out before that treble, go in front of the treble and back out the other side and then yarn over and pull up and complete your treble and you'll just continue that all the way along okay so I've completed my final iris stitch and then I just need to complete my final treble in that treble from the previous row so yarn over and go into your final treble make sure you're not working into the last two trebles of your iris stitch make sure you're in the next stitch along which is the final stitch of your row. If you're really not great at keeping straight edges, just make sure that you pop stitch markers in and that will really, really make a big difference. So that was row one of the pattern repeat. You now want to turn your work around and you'll really be able to see those lovely twisty post stitches working up now. Okay, so this is row two of your pattern repeat. So again, I've turned, I'm going to go straight into that first chain yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through both, behind the vertical post of the stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through both. Again, straight into your chain one of your iris stitch with your new iris stitch. Sorry, the cat's just decided to have a big long drink at this point. Okay, so now on the row two of your repeat, you'll be working front post trebles because as you can see, we've got our ridge stitches on the front of our work now. So front post, so yarn over, go behind the treble, yarn over and pull up, 
and complete your treble stitch and then again I was stitching your chain one space. And then again front post treble so go around the back of that stitch and repeat all the way along. So that is the row two of your pattern repeat. I'll just get to the end to show you that placement for your very final stitch one last time and then I will meet you after I've worked up a few more rows so that I can show you how to finish off the end of your blanket in case you want to have a nice straight edge on it because obviously if not you'll have that um, ripply effect but if you want to pop a straight edge on then I will meet you shortly to do that but we're just approaching the end of this row now. I'm just completing my final iris stitch in that very last chain one space. So you're going to be skipping those last two trebles and then your very last stitch will go into the top of that treble height stitch from the row below. Okay, so I'm going to be working up a few more rows now and then I will meet you back to show you how to put a nice straight edge onto the top of your work. Okay, so I've worked up quite a few more rows now. I'm going to finish on a side where the front is facing us. You can finish the other way, but obviously just remember that when I'm doing my front post, you would be doing your back post if that's what you've decided to do. So I've turned my work and I'm going to do a double crochet straight into that first stitch. So I'm just going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through two. I'm going to chain two and then into that chain one space of the iris stitch I'm going to put a double crochet. So obviously these will be single crochet in US. I'm going to chain two again and then I'm going to do my front post treble as normal. Obviously, like I say, if you're working the other side, then you'll be doing back post. Chain two, double crochet in the chain one space. Chain two, front post treble as normal. And you'll just repeat that all the way across your work. And that will just give you a nice straight edge to start working a border around perhaps if that's what you were planning or obviously you can just leave it as is. So I'm just doing my final double crochet, chain two and then I'm just going to put a final double crochet into that very last stitch. And there you have a nice straight edge now to continue working your border if that's what you wanted to do. But I really do hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment as well. And enjoy the rest of the tutorials that you can find on the channel. Make sure that you subscribe and click that little bell icon. But I will see you for another tutorial really, really soon. But thank you as always for watching and bye for now.